What's happening there, Reject Nation? We're here today to watch Brooklyn Nine-Nine Season 3, Episode 7, and I know some of you guys did not get the memo. Yeah, something went wrong with our recording for Episode 6, and we're just gonna leave it at that. We're just gonna leave it at that. Yes! Leaving it at that, I'm sorry, episode six will not be going up. Isn't that right, John? It was unusable footage for an undisclosed reason that definitely had nothing to do yeah, with- Yeah, let's leave it at that. I apologize. <laughs> no, it's a bummer, because we really enjoyed that a lot. A lot of fun, yeah. We I'm really sorry. liked that episode a lot. I've been sad and, for days. And it's really a bummer that we couldn't put it up, and I'm, it has, it's just, it won't, it, it, there's no fixing it. Episode seven we're watching today. It's just gotta get back on track. That's why we cover white chicks instead. It's for some reason, we can't just move on to the next episode. Let's give something else in return as a little treat. Yeah, special Terry time. And episode seven, The Mattress. Leave a like, even if you're still mad at us. Everyone's furious in the comments. You were itching for that drug for episode six. Thanks to the boys of Prepper for helping us edit this down. I won't even tell you guys to go to our Patreon because we don't deserve it for this one. No. Isn't that right, John? We never deserve patrons again. Scully has a mason jar full of lemonade. You called us in here to tell us that? For you see, a mere five minutes ago, Hitchcock introduced me to his new goldfish who lives in... <gasps> An identical mason jar? Oh, this isn't gonna end well. There are two possible outcomes, and we're gonna bet on which one happens first. Oh. Hitchcock put fish food in Scully's lemonade, or will Scully drink Hitchcock's goldfish? Now, you would think that putting fish food into lemonade Hitchcock would be... just drank his own fish. What? That's <laughs> 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 not, not at all what I was expecting. <laughs> what a bunch of dumbasses. You're two minutes late. I called all the emergency rooms. I know. I went home from your place <laughs> to shower, and I'm so tired that I fell asleep while shaving my legs. But we went to bed so early. Property Brothers was over at 10. I mean, sex. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah. No, I was up all night because your dumb, lumpy mattress is so uncomfortable. Gina's listening. Yeah. Or I have the solution to all of your problems. Highly potent liquid speed. Oh, you're gonna love that stuff. Devin, we're cops. Read the room. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you say? Shall we take this partnership from the sheets to the streets? Oh, our first case is a couple. Why not? Uh, this could be bad. I just discovered a new drug, too. It's called your relationship, and I'm high on it. <laughs> what if he's really stupid? Terry, this is Sam, my little brother from Brooklyn's Big Brothers. I think it's funny when she calls me stupid. No one cares, stupid. Screw you, Rosa. <laughs> Go home and do all your homework, or I will end you. Don't let Rosa fool you. She's not that scary. She used to do ballet. No way. <sighs> Which gave me the physical skills I need to strangle you with my feet. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, sir, I think we were kind of hoping we could work the case together. Oh, are you two no longer... Smushing booties. Yes, that's exactly how I was going to finish. <laughs> <laughs> I don't put couples in the field together, but you are two of my best detectives, so I will allow it. Just don't let any personal issues distract you from me. It's not going to happen! Our only close call was when Jake didn't know who Will Shorts was. Really? <laughs> this is who you want to be with? <laughs> <laughs> Charles in charge of our days and our nights. What? Nuh uh. How am I supposed to. <laughs> clown Such parked a... his clown car in Captain Holt's spot and halfway into mine. What a clown! Sporty? Mm hmm Convertible? Yeah, that's the one. Oh, I hate people who drive sports cars. Hey, Captain, get ready to join him in the Huff Zone. No. No. Stop! Gertie is our convertible. I think you'd like her. She's a real peppy broad. Oh, my. Uh, Raymond Holt may be on the title, but no man can own her spirit. <laughs> you, you were saying something about some creep. Just some strangler that I was arrested. I was talking about some strangler that I arrested. Well, good job. Put the paperwork on my desk. Now I have to go find a strangler. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. He said he'll point him out to us, so you approach on foot from the south, and me and Devin will be in an unmarked car here. Me and Devin? Didn't you mean Devin and I? Oh, God. <gasps> I guess we're equally bad at grammar. I'm not bad at grammar. I'm exhausted because you refuse to get a new mattress. All right, why don't you just get a new back? <clears throat> We're not fighting. We can totally work together. We're fine. That was just sexy workplace banter. Exactly. I mean, mattresses are also sexy because that's where you do it. Grammar is a system of language involving syntax and semantics. Also sexy. OK, OK. <laughs> <laughs> just do it at work. 
All right, you're almost to the corner. You sure you're not going to be Eight. spotted? Absolutely. My cover makes me invisible. <laughs> hey, there's my dealer. Jake, gray jacket, 6 o'clock. Excuse me, sir. Do you have two minutes to talk about the environment? And my PD. Yeah. <laughs> He's headed for the building. I'll just stay here. <laughs> oh, moment of truth. Amy's going to bust him. Freeze! Jake, he's coming your way! Oh, nice. We're right on the mattress. New mattress. This mattress looks just like your mattress at home. What? No, it doesn't. All right, that settles it. We're going mattress shopping. Seriously? Oh, this is the best. Once we get it, we'll have to break it in. Oh, I hear what you're saying. Mattress trampoline. Wait, no, you were talking about sex. <laughs> <laughs> mattress trampoline, title of my sex tape. Nice. That little dum dum finishes homework early. He's injured. He's rusted. Maybe we could brew a pot of nice, relaxing kava tea and then. Spit it out. Sam was brought in for shoplifting a phone. <sighs> I also have chamomile. That might calm us down. Rest in peace, my boy. What were you thinking? I made a mistake. The phones were just lying there and I didn't think things through. I'm sorry, Rosa. Uh, we're dealing with Detective Diaz now, and she's gonna make sure you rot in juvie for the rest of your life. <laughs> <laughs> He's just a kid. Can't you just let him off with a warning? Sometimes being as tough as possible doesn't lead to the best outcome. This isn't Cagney calling Lacey a poopy head. I'm not just gonna. Get you <gasps> Jenna, I screwed up big time. Charles, given your daily life experiences, you're gonna have to be more specific. Gertie! No! Gertie! <laughs> I mean, he parked in two spots. It's kind of his fault. Just have some B-bone boil. You know that's my smallest bone. Come on. No. It's just a car. He's not gonna be that mad. Son of a no, bitch! Oh, no. Oh, what did he do to you, Gertie? What did he do? It was an accident, sir. Yes, an accident. The buffoon's apology. <laughs> <laughs> the buffoon's apology. They'll have to custom mix the color because they no longer make raspberry sherbet. <laughs> they're all so beautiful. And they're all about to be tested. Bouncy styles. Oh, here we go. Oh, shit. <laughs> My dream right here. Oh. Holy Moses, that is much too much money. Mattresses are expensive, but they're an investment. It's gonna be in your life for a long time. True, but it's also still just a mattress, you know? It's a lot of money to spend on a rectangle that's filled with springs and goose hair. You know it's feathers. I didn't. <laughs> well, to me, it sounds like you're saying, I'm not worth it. So, I'm gonna go sleep in my grown-up mattress that I bought this century. <laughs> oh, oh no. My mattress accumulates value. You look well rested. Yes, because I slept in my own bed. I was tossing and turning. Jake told me about your fight. <laughs> good job on the bus yesterday. How was it? Working together as a couple. So good. So, do it again. Always do it. That's weird. Look at this. The same two matches are missing from both books. Third one on the bottom row and fifth one on the top. No one would take matches out like that. Trust me, I smoked four cigarettes in college, one to completion. That's a code. Uh, I'll go get my pencil case. I bet it's a room <laughs> number. Third floor, fifth room, room 305. That's definitely it. Oh, great. Great, great. Santiago has solved it. I want you two to go undercover as a couple. <laughs> oh, no. Apparently, uh, what was it? Um, smooshing booties. Great. And thank you for saying it that way. It made us both feel very comfortable. <laughs> Oh, there's gonna be tons of mattresses at the hotel. Before you decide what to do with Sam, there's someone I think you should talk to. I tracked down your old ballet coach. I brought her in to remind you of the effect a kind, nurturing presence can have on a young life. Not a ballet coach. Miss Miriam was not nurturing at all. All right, Ox, let's see what you've got. Eyes up, shoulders down. Tough love works. Damn it. <laughs> Terry proved the wrong point. <laughs> it's okay, Terry. I should have never tried to stand up to Captain Holt. Oh, why don't I just beg for mercy? It's my signature move, the Charles. Oh. Actually, in the right in this sitch, the captain is being irrational. But he's about to learn himself a lesson right about 
Nah. <laughs> oh. What? What did you do to my cupcake? This is yours? Why on earth is your cupcake on my chair? Uh, I can put it wherever I want. This is your fault. Now you have to buy me a new cupcake. Well, this is outrageous. You expect me to avoid... Huh? I see. <laughs> your butt was Charles's car. Yes. The chair was the parking space. Yes, I get it. Your office was the garage. Yes. <laughs> All right. We're done here. You're a great captain. <laughs> Nailed it. You know what your butt hates? Making any sort of sacrifice for us because it's not serious about this relationship. My butt is totally serious. I've made all kinds of changes. I bought orange soda for you. <laughs> hey, for the last time, Orangina is not orange soda. <laughs> I saw the text she sent you about setting you up with some dude named Gary. You read my texts? It buzzed when you were in the bathroom. Who doesn't bring their phone with them into the bathroom? That's like the whole reason to go in there. <laughs> <laughs> Look, the minute I tell her that I'm dating someone, she's gonna call me all the time and ask me a million annoying questions. Uh, uh -huh. Guess I'm just not worth it. Boom, use the thing you said to me in a different argument and this argument, I win the argument. <laughs> 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 no. Oh no. For the last time, Orangina is not orange soda. Yeah, because it's that. Oh no. You do have to admit it was a pretty good point about Orangina, though. Oh God. Guys, uh, get it together. Your turn, Peralta. Thank you, Santiago. No. Oh. Before you say anything, yes, we screwed up. And yes, you warned us. And yes, I don't know where I'm going with this, but I do know this. I have reached the end of my sentence. <laughs> I can't believe you let a personal argument derail your investigation. I would characterize it more as a professional police disagreement. I listened to the tape. Oh no, yeah, well then you know that it was a straight up crazy bitch fight. <laughs> When Kevin and I first started dating, he taught at a small college upstate. He took the leap, and I'm so grateful that he did. I only regret that I didn't do it first. The train is your old mattress. Yeah. The car is your new mattress. I got it. Kevin is you. Mm -hmm. I'm Santiago. <laughs> I'll let him off with a warning. See, the thing about Miss Miriam is she made me a good dancer, but she ruined my childhood. She was constantly writing me about my posture and my technique and my pink hair. Pink hair. Mm. Never speak of that. Copy. <laughs> I sure as hell don't want Sam to quit the Big Brother program because of me. This is totally how I thought this Miss Miriam thing was going to go. <laughs> Lawless Terry Plant. Absolutely. Well, I thought you should know. I just got Gertie back from the garage. She looks as good as new. Better even, because after 12 years, they finally got the Annie Lennox cassette out of the tape player. Oh, I love her. Here's a check for the full amount. You don't owe me anything. Oh, oh. I behaved poorly, as Gina made abundantly clear. Oh, speaking of, you still owe me $14 for that cupcake. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. I want to change mattresses for you. That's the best thing I've ever heard. I'm sorry I didn't do it sooner. I think I was just scared that you were going to realize you're way better than me. You're Orangina and I'm Orange Soda. Are you kidding? Aww. You're Orangina? Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> I was scared too. I'm gonna call my mom tonight. Okay. Aww. Uh -huh. Jake, Jake, look, there's our guy. Oh, perfect timing. Submit order. Province? I don't know. We're on the Canadian website. Click on the American flag. No. Jake, yeah, we'll do this later. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> uh. You know, that was a great episode, mm -hmm. but it is such a downgrade compared to last week's episode. And last week was a truly great episode. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 episode, yeah. A lot of good bonding, a lot of good character dev, you know. If only. I almost teared up at one point. But this will, this will be fine. 
テストっていうあっ、セフスティーズ。チューン、ネクスウィーク。ウェア。There will be footage. Time to say goodbye. So the lyrics are so something like, spaghetti, no calzone in Italy. That was me saying goodbye to the last week's episode, finally putting it to rest. Single teardrops, you can't see it, but it was a single teardrop. That, that left my eye. We might have seen that in moved. last week's reaction. We might have seen it in last week's <sighs> reaction when Rosa and Holt are being emotional together and crossing that bridge. I don't even want to think about it. I don't ever want to think about it. Let's talk about this episode. Well, John, what did you think? Be loud and clear. This was a great, relatable episode. Why? Especially because. Why? Because it's hard being Why? a couple and taking <laughs> steps toward、uh, further commitment towards each other, even. What would you know about that? You know, just、Come、the l e s s o n learned from several <laughs> relationships I've been in over the years. No, no, it's different、Not、though. When you're, you're years, you know, it's, it's different. Relationships have changed since the last time you've been in a relationship. That's、not. right. It's a whole new age. It's, it's all, uh, it's like, it's all it's apps tw- now. 12 years for you. These things、That's、have、right. changed. 12 years a bachelor. That's a long time. I know. The last, lucky duck. Last time I dated, I was 19. <laughs> Hear that, ladies? Is my math okay? I don't know. It's time to rescue John. That's right. Fix me. Do. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> fix me. Save him. I'm a craftsman at <laughs> home. Come on, dump、fix、some、it. money in, then turn, flip me and sell me、fix、for more. John. For better value later. Yo, no, you can be the, the thing to get, step inside his soul and, and go, oh no. Oh, I can change him. Change、uh. him. Change John. That's right. I can, I can fix this mess. I、Get、can straighten、John. him out. I、yeah. can make him streamline the start of every healthy relationship. Get in there. Get in there, ladies. He needs a fix caretaker. Him. Fix him. He needs a nurse.、Um, yeah, so it's relatable. Yeah. From, you, you've worked with girls, like friend, friends <laughs> that you dated, girlfriends that you dated. Yes. Oh, God, what a nightmare, especially yeah, with the woman you've dated. That's right. Oh, oh look out. Oh, boy. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. That's right. That's right, bro. Wow. How are you still alive?、Yeah. I would have ended it years ago. Not at any of those、Just、jobs. I would、no. have seen life. To have been like, wow, where's the eject button from life?、Mm. And I would, have, <laughs>、yes. I would have easily hit that button. Wow! It's, it's time to yeah, just be done with it all. Shuffle t h o s e people, whoa! Believe it or not, G, believe it or not, yeah, you'd be surprised、oh, what, what so, the、yeah. people around us were able to endure. This episode must have been very relatable. It was traumatic.、Her. I felt seen and attacked by this episode. Olivia insisted we get a new mattress, and so we did.、Mm-hmm. And you know what? I was like, Well, I don't think we should spend that much money. <laughs> She was wrong. The massager on the bed's been broken for months, and she keeps saying, like, When are you gonna call them to, f- to have them come by to fix it? And I'm always like, You know, you can't put that level of responsibility on me.、Uh-huh. I'm too busy uploading. Watching Brooklyn Nine Nine,、mm-hmm. being like, John, can you do this? I got too much going on to make a five minute phone call to fix the bed. <laughs> well, because it's not just a five minute phone call, then it's figuring out a time for them to come by, and then it's an、like、hour or two. 
waiting to see if they'll be on time and then letting them in and see, you know can't I mean? lose track of them because what if they're stealing from and me? And after four months, really, it's Olivia's responsibility. That's after, right. After she's got to realize that I'm not going to do it. That's so right. really, the blame goes to her. Mm-hmm. <sighs> She should have just brought a mattress with her when she got here. Thank God for Jade and Amber. We can now blame the woman. That's right. Everything finally fault at. Reversing. Finally. It's never been that way. That's right. Never, according to many people. It's never been that way. We can finally reverse the effects of, the side effects of feminism. Um, so, yes. Anyway, John, you're telling me about these crazy, demeaning (laughs) hookers you've Mm-hmm. You've been with yeah. all of them. Crazy and, um, So you relate with that. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Checkpoint one. Yeah. Done. Learning like... to be affectionate. Sometimes that action. You know, sometimes that's the thing is like, that's why it's important to learn to be vulnerable. Because a lot of the time, you know, being scared or being hurt comes out in other ways. Mm. It could come out in pure violence. Mm-hmm. Like, don't get me wrong, Sean. What you had to do to put those X's in their place in public from time to time believe me i get it now when we're around other people am i gonna be like john you maybe shouldn't treat them that way of course i'm just saving face um but at the time Mm -hmm. i was like i can't blame a guy man thank you i felt very supported yeah i just just say no i only had to disagree with it because there were there were other people there were, yeah there were girls in the room. i had to placate mm-hmm. to fragility you know? yeah yeah, yeah. the <laughs> like, snowflakes just like yeah. oversensitivity mm-hmm. the blue hair uh, you know snowflakes out there you know they <laughs> can be uh <laughs> so. I know how they can be. Um, I don't even like to use the word they, though. I prefer a a she or a him. That's it. Oh, we're talking about a different subject now. Uh, I'm just throwing everything (laughs) terribly in. I mean, I feel like it's all good. Um, So, yes. What else happened in this? Oh, hey. I mean, Captain Holt owned up when he was being unreasonable. Even though he is the boss, he's in the power position. The amount of times John, in our dynamic, has gotten mad at me and had to apologize for getting mad at me Uh is ridiculous. It's too many times. It's definitely not usually the other way around. (laughs) Consistently... I gotta rage. I gotta rage out, you know? It's consistently having to apologize for. Be, I'm always the boil. I fly off. He's the always the Holt. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, I Consistently. Have, I, I appreciate. <laughs> that is the dynamic between us. Your, the camera's your not Puppy rolling. dog energy <laughs> as uh, the boil of this office. And frankly, John, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I think that. Well, I deserve it. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Who am I to argue? <laughs> Who am I to argue, you know? Yes. Get 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 competent, you know? And don't park over the line. Yeah. No matter how special and valuable your shit is, you know? And then uh, Rosa learning about tough love and knowing that tough love can often be too tough. Tough where... love is a fine line. You can push someone away. Or break their investment. And I gotta tell you, no one knows how to be on the receiving end better than the way John gives me tough love. That's right, man. Constantly. I only do it because I want to bring the best out of you. Constantly. And the best is, tough is so deep buried in there. All the I'm just time. like, I gotta I'm go like, hard. Shit, man. John's. John's right. <laughs> I need, tough I enough, need man. man. My, I need to step up to my the plate tough love right now. Is not tough enough. Hey, coach, give me a bat and a helmet. It's time for me to take that swing. It's mm-hmm. usually what I say once a month. That's right. When uh, I get a case of the tough love. <laughs> That's right. right. Yeah. It's like put me in, coach. I can prove it. I can prove put myself. Me in, yeah. That's what happens here, man. And every time. 
You know, you don't, you don't you don't meet my excuse, expectations. That's what I say. The buffoons. <laughs> the buffoons. <laughs> the buffoons apology. Apology. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a great response. <laughs> Sarcasm. The cowards lie. <laughs> the cowards lie. Oh. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna use that. that. Is so funny. Or or so. that will be used against me. <laughs> the buffoons apology. I heard someone in the sauna the other day say if you become a mathematician to keep your problems in your life they were talking about drugs if you become a mathematician to keep your problems in your life ah what was it it was so good my eyes were closed at the time so i didn't see his face and i was like oh i should remember that I'm trying to remember right here on camera with you guys if you become a mathematician to, oh to keep justifying your bad if you become a mathematician to keep doing your bad habits, then you've got a real problem. Interesting. I think that's what he said. Okay. Kind of about that. Mathematician in that, like, you have to become increasingly adept at, like, complex emotional equations or is it what like what the fuck you're getting so carried away or is not it just like up to the drugs. point where your <laughs> bad spend. habits are expensive when you're just like if you're someone who's like I spend like a thousand dollars on weed <laughs> a okay. month yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe you shouldn't be smoking wow, that much weed, weed. <laughs> <You know? laughs> there are people who do that I believe and, no, absolutely. and it's like like oh no I gotta make these I gotta make my rent I'm struggling with money but I also gotta give them marijuana mm. yeah it makes a lot of sense yeah, it's not a more profound. I don't think I'm saying it right. <laughs> it's okay. I see it was where you're something that, that he said. It, I'm not. There was a specific way he put it. I was like, "That's a good life lesson." It'll come to you in a dream when you go to sleep on your nice mattress. When I make that call. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's good. It's good. Yeah, yeah. At the point where you have to develop skills to maintain this one habit that's affecting all your other life things. Yeah, and maybe you're in the wrong line of business. Maybe you, you put your energies in the wrong place. Yes. Anyway, yeah, funny episode. Well done. Really funny. Everyone's great as Good usual. What more can you say, right? Didn't expect Hitchcock to eat the, the fish. Why? That's what, totally what I expected. I didn't expect it to happen the way it happened. You're so smarter fast. with the comedy than I am. That's, that's why. We took a comedy test, too. And Greg passed it, and I failed it. I did. I paid $300 for it online. You paid 300 yeah. I paid a thousand. Well, if you become a mathematician, no. <laughs> just fire. Math. No, Keep I should have known going. better. <laughs> you should have known better. The joke is on me. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what we call a callback. Miss it is. Callback. Let's get one more in before the video's done. Ah, uh, yes. Rule of three. Three callbacks. That's what it takes. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, it doesn't count. All right, guys. It's time for us to depart. We'll see you soon.